Okay, in this video I'm going to walk through an example in which I have two Bernoulli random variables that do not end up being independent. In the text I give an example of two random variables that are independent, so I thought I'd use this video to give an example of ones that are not. Now remember, Bernoulli random variables are random variables that have two possible values, which will encode, encode as 0 and 1. And if I'm looking for an interaction among two random variables, then I'll need to look at all the possible combinations of zeros and ones for each of those variables. So there's two possibilities for two variables. That gives um, 2 times 2 equals 4 combinations, and those combinations are arranged in the chart here. So k is my value for the first random variable, or we'll do x is k. m, I'm thinking of as the value for the second random variable, y is m. And then over here in this third column, I give the probability that we have that combination. Okay, so you'll notice that all these probabilities sum to 1, and if I want the distribution for, let's say, just x, well, that's completely given by the probability that x is 1, because the probability that x is 0 is 1 minus that, and the probability that x is 1 is just the sum of the probability that x is 1 and y is 0, and the probability that x is 1 and y is 1. So it's 0.2 plus 0.2, which is 0 0.4. Similarly, the, sum, the probability that y is equal to 1 is the sum of these probabilities where m is 1. So I got 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 is 0 0.3. So those are the um, probabilities for x and y completely ignoring the other random variable. Now what happens if we factor in the value for another random variable? So let's say, for example, we compute the probability that x is 1 given that y is equal to 0. Well, our formula for conditional probability says that this is the probability that both events happen divide the prob divided by the probability that the second event happens. So the probability that x is 1 and y equals 0 divided by uh, the probability that y is 0. Okay, and the probability that x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0 is right here. That's 0 0.2 divided by the probability that y is 0 is um, 1 minus the probability that y is 1, so that's 0 0.7. So we get two 7s, which is certainly not equal to the probability that x is 1, which is 0.4. Oh, that should not have been a squiggly equals should be a not equals to. Okay. So because the probability that x is 1, given that y is equal to 0, is not the same as just the probability that x is 1, that means that these two random variables are not independent. Notice that we only had to find one combination of a value for x and a value for y, such that the conditioning actually changed the probabilities. Okay, so there's an example of two random variables that are not independent.